Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a voiceover instead of like a regular video because um, I wanted to get this video out really quickly and I look like a hot mess right now so I thought maybe a voiceover would be sufficient for this kind of video. Anyway, I wanted to talk about a Japanese idol group called NGT48. Um, they've recently had this kind of huge scandal and I thought it was worth talking about and seeing what you guys think and if you've heard about this scandal, what your opinion is. So after watching the video, please leave a comment below like what you think about this and what you think should be done, if anything, since this is all alleged right now. Also, just in case, I'm gonna list all of my sources down below, so please visit them if you want more information, if you wanna dig into it yourself. I recommend you don't just listen to me, but you kind of do your own research on the situation because there is a lot of information and I don't know if I can fit everything into this video, but I'm gonna do my best. So if you don't know, NGT48 is an idol group here in Japan produced by Akimoto Yasushi. They get the name NGT48 because they are based in Niigata City, which is in Niigata Prefecture. It's very similar to AKB48, AKB standing for Akihabara. So basically these groups take the name of the area that they're produced in. NGT48 was announced on January 25th of 2015 as a new group composed of several members. And we're gonna talk about three members today. The first member is Yamaguchi Maho. She is the captain of Team G. We're also going to be talking about Nishigata Marina, who is a member of NGT48's Team Ni, and also Tano Ayaka, who is also a member of Team Ni. There are different teams within this group since there are so many members and you can tell that this is a very competitive group. Japanese idols tend to be very competitive, especially with these girl groups like NGT48, AKB48. The girls are ranked based on popularity and it affects their position in the group. So Yamaguchi Maho is the captain of Team G. So the incident I wanted to talk about was one member being assaulted and forced to apologize by her management company. Yamaguchi Maho, one member of NGT48, was on her way home and being an idol, she said she is very cautious. When she goes home, she always checks around her to make sure no one is following her. She's very aware of her surroundings. like. Most idols have to be, just in case. She entered her apartment, which is not a regular apartment, it's for the idols. It should have security, auto locks, everything like that. It should be hard for a stranger to enter the building. Anyway, she entered her building, went up the elevator, exited the elevator. She didn't see anyone in her hallway, so she proceeded to open up her door and that is when a man suddenly grabbed her from behind. And this, of course, terrified her. She started screaming. That's when she allegedly saw another man come out of the apartment across from her own, which is the apartment of another member. The man came out of that room, covered her mouth, and they fell to the floor. She was struggling to get away, trying to scream, and that's when they heard the elevator, which distracted the two men and she was able to run away. This happened over a month ago. So right after this happened, of course, she notified her management company, which is supposed to do everything, protect them, take care of them. And of course she expected them to act and protect her in this case as well. After notifying them, she waited for over a month with no word, nothing. The two men who allegedly assaulted her were arrested but then released and not charged and this of course was very upsetting to her as it would be to anyone who is assaulted on their doorstep so being frustrated Yamaguchi took to a live stream where she just released that information that she had been keeping a secret and she explained to her fans why she had been on a social media hiatus and that she was assaulted 
and she's been waiting and nothing has been done about it. Very shocking to all her fans. And even more shocking is that allegedly two other members may be involved. Yamaguchi alluded to another member in the group leaking her information, which resulted in these two supposed fans assaulting her. Unfortunately, since Yamaguchi took to this live stream and told her information about being assaulted, her management company was very upset. And on their third anniversary stage, they made her apologize. She bowed and apologized for causing her fans trouble, which many fans think is just ridiculous and horrendous that a woman, a girl, who was assaulted in front of her home had to apologize like that. No matter who you think is behind it, it's insane that the victim has to apologize. ご迷惑をかけることになってしまったこと本当に申し訳なく思っております。引き続きNGTフォーテイトの応援をよろしくお願いします。And it's now being reported that one member from NGT48 accidentally gave information to a stranger on the street who asked when Yamaguchi would come home. It's alleged that the member gave this information accidentally, which I don't know how one would do that, but the management company is now saying that one of the members did accidentally give away her information, which is of course a big security issue. So many people are suspecting which members did what. The two members who are being suspected by fans are Tano Ayaka and Nishigata Marina. It seems that there has been regular bullying by these girls to Yamaguchi and to her team, Team G. I have to remind you, this is all alleged. There is still no finite proof that any of this is true, but this is what people are speculating. People think they've found the two criminals who assaulted Yamaguchi. They are fans of NGT48, and for some reason, they would get special tickets, front row seats, and are kind of protected by the management for some reason. And it seems that there is a connection between Tano Ayaka and these criminals. It is speculated that Tano gave the information of when Yamaguchi was coming home to the two suspects, and another person who is a fan of NG248 gave them their address. So I'm not sure what exactly is true, there's also a rumored sexual relationship between Tano Ayaka and these criminals. Here is what Yamaguchi said about the assault. She said, I always had a very cautious nature, even on normal times. When I would enter my home, as well as when I would enter my apartment, I tend to act while paying cautious to even the slightest of things. Even on that day, I checked to see if anyone was anywhere in the external corridor before entering my apartment and quickly closing back the door. But before I could, then someone's hand came out, at which point he opened it back. I was grabbed by the face and was almost pushed down to the ground. I desperately tried to drive him away. If I give up now, I would get myself killed, I thought to myself, and was determined not to give up just then. I was just about to repel him when another man came out from another apartment. That apartment was one where another member lives. This man replaced the previous man and once again grabbed my face and in the same way tried to pin me down to the ground. I attempted to cry for help, but my voice would come out of fear. Even if I tried to shout, it took me about a minute before I could manage to get my voice to come out. Help me! Help me, I shouted. 
The man then covered my mouth shut. I started to think how I would get inside into my room like that before getting killed. In the middle of this, the sound of the elevator started blaring, which helped in diverting their attention. Thinking to myself, am I going to get dragged into home like this? Locked in and they'd do something to me? I have no idea. I managed to get out toward the corridor. Even then, the fright made me feel weak at the knees, preventing me from escaping. I tried to inform the police, but I got my cell phone taken away. Many fans and the general public are shocked at the way the management has handled this situation, making her apologize, not prosecuting the two men who assaulted her, and basically the management did not apologize for their slow actions and protecting maybe the other members in the group. There was just an official statement from NGT48 released on January 14th and it says, regarding incidents surrounding Yamaguchi Maho, we sincerely apologize for the frustration and anxiety we have caused fans and members of NGT48 since December 8th when a series of incidents surrounding Yamaguchi Maho surfaced. Please read the following statement for a response and future plans of action. Firstly, we have checked with the Niigata Police Department regarding members' involvement in the case. We discovered that the only wrongdoing here were done by two persons claiming to be fans. The police told us that once collaborators are confirmed, we would be contacted. Hypothetically, if there were NGT48 members doing illegal activities, they would be accosted the same way as the wrongdoers. In this case, no member was accosted, which is why we at AKS will assume that no member was involved in illegal activities. In the future, if members are suspected of illegal activities or inappropriate actions, we will contact third-party lawyers and professionals to investigate. Regarding the details of the police investigation, due to privacy policy of the police force, we cannot disclose the exact data. As a company, we have learned a lot from this incident and have reflected on our practices. From now on, we will strengthen our police presence and consult the police and security companies in order to protect the health and safety of members. Regarding the structure of NGT48 management, Imamura Etsuro, director, will be moved. He will be replaced by director Hayakawa Maiko and vice director Okada Tsuyoshi. We hope for a new start for the group. Basically, the director, Imamura, is the one who is kind of accused of protecting other members and the, the criminals rather than protecting the girl who was assaulted. He did not apologize for anything. They just said they're moving him and another person is taking over, but he did not apologize. So fans are very upset by this. They want an apology. The fans are asking the company to apologize, to catch the people who assaulted her, to reprimand any members who had leaked any information, and they basically want them to apologize to Yamaguchi, of course. Many people think it's unforgivable that they made her apologize. So some fans created a petition on change.org to bring this to more people's attention. I will link it down below with all the sources. So if you would like to sign it, you can. If you want to check any of the information, you can. But I will leave all the information down below, so please check it out. Please look into it yourself if you're interested. Um, let me know what you think. Do you think other members are involved? Do you think that the management company was wrong? Were they right? Please comment below, let me know what you think, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks guys, bye.